Alright guys, today I'm about to show y'all the best defensive settings to use in playing online on my team. It doesn't matter what mode you play. After that, I show y'all the defensive setting, then I'm gonna show y'all the game plan how I make this guy quit and I was blowing him out using these settings. But first, what you do is you press start, you go to game plan, defensive settings, and then after that you go to on ball pressure. You can put tight or you can put smother. It doesn't matter to you. Either or you're gonna shut these guys down. You're gonna make it hard for them. Especially if you play you play playing online, make sure you do do it with the defensive teams. Cause that'll get the job done for you. You can't do it with a team with, with no defense. It's, it's not gonna work. Now, off ball pressure, it's up to you. You can put play tight. Or well, my team players, you you have to play tight because everybody can shoot in, in that mode. But playing online players, you gotta know who to play tight or who not to play tight. Now, denial ball. You only do that if you you going up against soft shooters like Curry or Klay Thompson because they're not slashers. You don't put denial ball like guys like Michael Jordan, Giannis, or LeBron James. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you put tight or model or model it against those type of guys. Now, false direction. You can put middle if you want to. You don't want guys going baseline because that's everybody likes to do go baseline. But it's up to you. It's your decision. Now, um, on ball screens. Now, if you're a my team player, you go over because you're one on three. Because people like to three hunt in that, in that game, and, and people know how to shoot nowadays. So it is what it is. But if you're a playing online player, if you if you go up against guys like Giannis or LeBron James, you want to go under because you want to force these guys to shoot. A lot of guys don't like to shoot with those type of players. So make sure you go under at any time. But mostly, if you're a my team player, just go over. Now, hedge is kind of tricky. I usually. I usually use automatic, but it's up to you. If you go into guys that don't shoot that often, then you put no edge, whatever. But guys like to shoot, well, you just put automatic. It's up to you to guard it. Got a lot of guys on ball, but if you if you're an off baller, then you could put, you know, hard edge or whatever. It's up to you. Now, stay attached. Make sure that's yes because if you put it on automatic and you don't do nothing about it, what, what, what's going to happen is you know people like to look for the like, exploit matchups. So if you had it on automatic. They're automatically going to switch their man to the big man to a point guard or point guard to the big man. You don't want that. So I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Say, say you got Kawhi Leonard on Steph Curry. He's gonna make sure that Kawhi Leonard gonna be on him all times. It's not gonna be no switch, no nothing. All right. So make sure you put that attached at all times. You want to prevent that. Now on, on a post, uh, I, I used to put behind because it bring help. In this case, people like to ring one to the rim. So now with that, you grab the rebound better. So I pull behind sometimes, but sometimes I really don't. It depends on the situation. Now off ball screens, uh, you can put you can put over because they like to run three point plays. So you put over just in case. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay, screen draw help. You want to put that off because the AI like to help for no reason. Ain't though you have them in the box or you lock them up, they the AI decide to collapse on defense. You be mad. You could be pissed off. So make sure you put no help so prevent that. So you don't only want to stop that. Now dry help, make sure it's no help. Especially on my team, you want no help at all. But playing now, you want some little bit of help. Depends what type, what type of team you're playing against. So it's up to you, but usually put no help for, for a safe route. Okay, you leave all this automatic, automatic. Except the trenches in defense. Cause you know, most of the time on the trenches in defense, they like to give up, the AI like to give up the three pointer. On a, on a fast break situation, so what you do is you put no threes there, and for a safe route, especially you go to teams like they like to shoot, like the Warriors or the Blazers, like shooting teams. Make sure you put no threes there. Right now, I'm using the Bucks, and you see he took a tough shot with Carmen and Anthony. That's what you want from your opponent. Now, we you do your defensive sense with the best defensive teams like the Clippers or the Bucks. They're gonna work your favor because they, these guys could play defense like Giannis. Book Lopez, Drew Holiday, you got Chris Middleton, and you got um, Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen is not really a defender, but real life he kind of is, but not in the video game. But he'll get some stops though, but everybody on the court could play defense, so it's gonna work 90% of the time. So you plan on using the Bucks, make sure you do the settings, so that way you can shut these guys down, you can make these guys quit, or you blow them out by 30 or 40 points, and they'll quit the game. You see, I'll go close court with Giannis, but I'm not showing all in the scoring. I'm just showing you like I get I get like defensive stops, then scoring in the ball in a fast break, or you know things like that. And you see that tough shot by Drew Holiday. Wow, watch this blowout game. I'm telling you, it's because of my defensive settings. This de defensive settings is crazy. It's a savage, by the way. 
So if you want to do it, you could do it. Some people don't do their settings. I don't know why, especially you play play now. But my team players, you don't need to worry about that. Cause everybody can play defense. You get like the best car in the game. Everybody can play defense. So it's gonna work all the time if you're nice and you got the IQ. But anyway, you see I'm going coast to coast with Drew Holiday with an easy slam, two hands for safety. So this gameplay, I'm gonna show y'all most most of the defensive stops, but most of some of the scoring. But you see right there, he took a tough shot because I already know that he's gonna shoot with Steve Novak. You see how Giannis bullied J.R. Smith? That's what you want, man. You can't stop that. Uh, I want y'all guys to take a look at the on-ball deep. You see how everybody is playing tight on their man? That's what you want. So that way you get like a one-one ability to get a stop or you get a strip. Depends on the opponent. Now you see that easy pass by Drew Holiday? That's what you want. See, you see? You stay in front of the guy, you, bo you body him. That's what you want. You want a body animation. Sometimes you don't get that often, but make sure you do it carefully. You see that defense? You see the closeout by Drew Holiday? You see that pass by Giannis all the way to Drew Holiday for the easy slam for one hand. You always got to remember that you always want to force your opponent a difficult shot. That the shot that he does not want. You always want to do that as a defender. And no matter what team you use, even with a defensive team, make sure you have that at all times. You see that defensive presence by Drew Holiday? That's what you want, man. Everybody tighten up. The opponent had nowhere to go. See, I made an extra pass to Chris Middleton, EC3. Simple, man. Watch, watch this blowout, man. Watch this guy going to quit, man. Because he can't score. Like, he had a hard time. Look, he's trying to go straight up with Stalmine, see? It does not work against Giannis. So that's what you want, discipline. Okay, guys, pay attention to this part. You see how many stops I gave him? All these defensive stops, man. Block shots, making it harder to score. Like, it's crazy, man. Make sure you got to do your settings, man. Don't be a casual. Because sometimes they don't like doing these settings. But my team players, they'll do settings all, all the time. But anyway, look at this defensive play by Giannis. Giannis is scary on defense. I'm telling you right now, this guy is seven feet tall, man. What can you do? He made everybody look small, man. Oh, almost forgot to tell y'all. Sometimes when you do your settings and you, you are try hard, they usually clear out the game. So they don't want to deal with the headache. So watch out for that. 